this session, we're going to bind up the spirit of rejection. We're going to find freedom from rejection. I'm going to read a few verses. I want to start off with Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Also down in Ephesians 1, chapter 4, or chapter 1, verse 4. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. Romans 8, 37. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. And Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Psalms 27, verse 10. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Psalm 139, 14. I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9. I took you from the ends of the earth, from its furthest corners. I called you and I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and I have not rejected you. The enemy is going to going to come at you and make you feel rejected and, and, and he's going to fight you with shame. He's going to he's going to try to guilt you and extort you uh, with your emotions. Uh, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory and there's no more condemnation um, in the body of Christ. So the enemy's tactics once we once we see what he does, once we see his tricks, we can we can fight these things off with the word. And I, I, I'm hoping that that you you grasp that. As severe as the situation you might be in feels, there is freedom. And it's available to you. And we're going to beat this spirit of rejection today. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, no weapon forged against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. So I want to start off right now. And I want to, I want to pray for you guys. And I'm going to have you pray with me. All right, just repeat this after me, if you can, to the best of your ability, or at least open your heart to receive this and be still in the, in the presence of the Lord. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And God, you are for me. Who then can stand against me? For I am chosen by you. You have not rejected me. God, you love me so much that you gave your son to die for me. God, you chose me and appointed me to bear good fruit. And Lord, your word says that you contend with those who contend with me. You are my deliverer. Spirits of rejection, they come at me in one direction, but they're going to flee in seven directions by the power of the Holy Spirit because I am holy and blameless I am redeemed through the blood of Jesus I have the spirit of wisdom and revelation I am an heir to heaven I am seated in heavenly places I am God's workmanship I am fearfully and wonderfully made I am a new creation I am a citizen of heaven I am rooted and grounded in love I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. I am a healer. I am healed in Jesus' name. I am free. Lord, everything you said about me is true. Thank you for freedom. Now let's deal with this spirit. This could be a generational thing. So we're going to need to renounce some things. 
So just repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I renounce the inherent spirit of rejection that has been passed down to me by my ancestors. And I forgive my ancestors for passing this spirit down to me. But I reject it and I renounce it from my life. I close every door against the spirit of rejection and I cancel its legal right. Cancel any legal rights that may have given rejection uh, opportunity and authority to operate in my life. And I command the spirit of inherent rejection, the fear of rejection, self-rejection, perceived rejection to loose your grip on me in Jesus name. Now I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus. I address the spirited rejection. I, I address the inherent rejection, the fear of rejection, self rejection, perceived rejection. And I cast you out in the name of Jesus. You have no legal right. It has been revoked by the power of the Holy spirit. And I pray fire against you in Jesus name to burn you out. Your right to operate has been taken from you and you have to leave now in the name of Jesus. Never come back. Spirit of rejection, I expel you now in the name of Jesus. I forbid you to operate in this life again. This is a child of God and it is free. Now we're going to pray. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray for a fixed mind. So I want you to open your heart to this prayer. Repeat it after me to the best of your ability. God of miracles, I know I need more of you in my life. Please help me to understand who you are and to experience your transforming power. My thoughts tend towards those that center on ungodly things. And I want to fix my mind on you and your love. Knowing that this will surely bring peace. God, renew my mind by the power of your Holy Spirit. I pray that you would lead and guide me so I may know you deeper. Yahweh, my God, I know that as long as I live here on the earth, I will battle my sin nature. Recently, the battles have been in my mind and I'm dealing with rejection, Lord. But I thank you for your freedom today. I'm begging you to quiet the voices in my head, all the voices except your own. Let your voice be as clear as the birds singing at dawn and Father, place a wall around me Place a hedge of protection around me to fight from my mind as I seek to follow after you. I surrender everything. I surrender my all to you. Amen. Take some time to thank the Lord for your freedom today. Walk in newness of life and be blessed.